The power of the doctor has come, it's gone, we laughed, we cried, we cheered. Uh, I'm literally straight out of bed to watch this episode this morning. I'm also not at my own house today, which means I have a little friend with me. Come on, Oscar, come up here. Good boy, hey! Uh, Oscar's gonna be joining us today to uh, look at the 2023 trailer for Doctor Who. Well, so what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna break down that trailer, that extraordinary trailer. I've already watched it uh, a few times. I'm sure everyone here has. If you haven't, go check it out. Uh, I'm gonna put Oscar down. So we're, yeah, we're gonna take a bit of a deep dive into that trailer. It's only five or six shots, but I thought let's have a look whilst it's fresh, whilst we're excited, while it's all in our system. As to my thoughts on the power of the Doctor, you can see my and Connor's reactions in various places over on the TikToks and the YouTubes. You can also see later tonight, we're gonna have a review, a full hour to, hour to two hour podcast review of The Power of the Doctor. Talking about it from start to finish. It's our review, that's what we do. We're a podcast, but we do this kind of thing too. So without any further ado, let's look forward to Doctor Who in 2023. First shot, TARDIS. You can just tell already, it looks stunning. Like the Chibnall era, even though sometimes the color grading's been a bit dark and gloomy, it's tend to look pretty damn amazing the majority of the time. This is like a step up even beyond from that. It's a stunning shot. We saw the location filming of this kind of thing and it's so beautiful to see it realized on the big screen. Not a lot to say about this, but it's a, a lovely TARDIS shot. David Tennant says, I don't know who I am anymore. Guys, David Tennant is the doctor. David Tennant, he's the bloody doctor. <laughs> and he doesn't know who he is, so he's going through this moment of crisis. You know what my biggest takeaway was? The moment I saw this shot for the first time was, thank God, all of us YouTubers, all of our thumbnails, they're saved. We can have a HD photo of David because there were some amazing photos from, from the location filming earlier this year in Bristol. But you know, there's only so much you can do with those one or two amazing photos. Now we have a, a, a stunning photo to add to the thumbnail collection. David looking insane, turning around, chaos in the streets behind him. It's so colorful, it's so pretty. And then we cut to Neil Patrick's, Neil Patrick Harris, this like kind of close up shot. Uh, it, it's, he's definitely a threat. He's definitely um, someone to be reckoned with. He's probably the celestial toy maker, who knows. But whatever he is, he's up to no good. Doing a bit of a wave, definitely giving me Nightmare Man, that kind of Torchwood uh, vibes. Is that Nightmare Man? What was that? Is that Sarah Jane? The version of the, the Nightmare person that's in Torchwood from Out of the Rain. You know the one I'm talking about. So we have the Doctor sliding under the door of some kind of spaceship. We got Donna in the background. We, you know, what's going on here? What is going on? Um, one thing to say now that we know that the Doctor, that David Tennant is playing the Doctor and not like a multi-universe version of the Doctor or the actual previous 10th Doctor. Now that we know he is kind of the, whether or not we'll call him this, the 14th Doctor, it's important to note that he is with Donna now. And so the Donna stuff definitely is gonna be taking place after uh, the end of time, after the last time we saw Donna. So I don't know, there's a lot to theorize there as to what's going on, how is she not dead? It's the same questions we've been asking for the, for the last six months but this really just proves that this is post the end of time. We get a shot of Donna in a house looking kind of scared. Is that a scared reaction? It's definitely a panicked reaction. Maybe this ties into the whole beep the meep. We saw some location footage of beep the meep rocking up in a taxi van or something. I don't know. If you don't know who beep the meep is, you missed a really great time to be a Doctor Who fan. The doctor running through a corridor. Now let me tell you, there is nothing more iconic then the 10th Doctor, or in this case, the 14th Doctor or the 13.5th Doctor running down a corridor, long coat flowing behind him. This is like, I don't think I'm gonna live through 2023. This is gonna be too much. And then um, I believe from the location shooting, this is Donna's house, uh, well, outside of Donna's or Wilf's or Sylvia's house, but at suburban London, which we love, classic RTD setting. And we've got a unit van, it looks like, being blown up flipped over, it looks stunning. And they did this practically, we saw from the location filming. So that is such a treat, such a delight. There is so much to look forward to here. Then we have Shuti Gatwa, our boy saying, will someone tell me what the hell is going on here? And he's in David Tennant's clothes. 
So it's clear that he's gonna come out the David Tennant, but like, I'm sure this isn't the last scene of the David Tennant era, that, that you know, these next three specials. I'm sure this isn't the last scene of that, because there's no way that they'd show that. So I'm so curious as to how Shudi Gatwa's involvement in the 60th is gonna take place. He's clearly shot bits, and I assume quite a decent amount. If it has, you know, if they're showing him in the trailer, he's clearly in more than just one or two scenes. I'm so curious as to what the 60th is gonna be like. The centenary kind of did a lot of the, the fan service-y stuff like that. You know, bringing back a lot of old doctors, classic doctors at least, classic companions. So, you know, what are we looking for in the 60th? What are they going to do that's different than just bringing back one or two of the old faces? I don't know, but it feels so good. Doctor Who returns in 2023. No date yet, you know, we're talking about three specials. There's a lot of things recently that have come out from people's CVs that indicate that these specials are all going to be in November. But that would surprise me if that is the case. I really do think these three specials are going to be scattered throughout the year. I'm not sure when that's going to be. You know, I'd love a plot twist and we get one on New Year's Day, but I don't think that's going to be the case. But yeah, uh, you know, there's two options. I reckon it's going to be like Easter and then September and then November. Um, or they're actually, it's going to be like a three-part miniseries and all the specials come, come out like back to back once a week for two, three weeks. So yeah, that is my thoughts uh, and feelings and what I can juice. There's not a lot to juice off of this teaser trailer, but it's definitely something and it's great to see David in action. It's also great to see we get shooty, shooty in action and he looks great in David's costume, by the way. He, it, it looks great there. That's, they're two handsome young men, aren't they? That's something, that's something else I could get from this trailer. Two good looking roosters. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe so that you can get our Power of the Doctor review. It'll be out in a few hours time after this. Connor and I will be recording that later today once he's back from work. Um, my morning has been hectic trying to get all this content and stuff done. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, help the algorithm. We want to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year and you guys can be a big part of that. Thank you so much for watching, listening and uh, tuning in and goodbye.